I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in previous videos, but due to the limitation in tooling that I own, producing hex headed bolts like this is a little bit difficult. Obviously, it's no problem if I start out with hex stock, but it's a little bit difficult for me to find, and I don't normally have several sizes of hex rod just laying about. That's not to say that I don't use hex headed bolts though. Most of the bolts that I use are just store bought. It's usually cheaper and a lot quicker to go to the store and buy them when I need them. But when I need to make bolts with custom features or non-standard pitch threads, making them here on the lathe is a no-brainer. The only real downside here is when I need to make the head, the easiest course is just to get a hacksaw and cut a slot in the head. It's not the best option, but it does the job well. Now normally if you wanted to cut a hex headed bolt, you'd need to use a collet block, pretty much a hexagonal version of the collet chuck. The only downside here is I don't currently own one yet. So in order to cut hex headed bolts, I'll be using one of these. I'm sure most of you will recognize this as a coupler nut. This one here is threaded for M12, and if you squint hard enough, it will probably look like a collet block, and we should be able to use this to our advantage and use it as a basic indexer. The only issue is we do need to make an insert to thread into the coupler so we can cut smaller threaded bolts, and I'll make some from this 14mm brass. To prevent the insert from unscrewing, I'll use some super glue to lock it in place and I can always break it with some heat from a propane torch if I need to remove it. With a coupler ready, let me quickly make up a bolt.
Before I put the assembly in the vise, I actually noticed that the coupler thread was made a little bit off center, about 1mm, so I corrected it using a few light passes on the mill. Well, and there we have it, and I'm going to say this is a big success. I know it's not perfect, but for a low tolerance part, such as a bolt, I'm going to say this was a pretty big success. Obviously, it's no replacement for a properly grounding collar block, but for a fraction of the cost, I'm pretty impressed with the results. Well, until I need to actually buy some collar blocks, I think I'm going to stick with this. And with that, thank you very much for watching.